Disturbing drone images have exposed secret ocean prisons with over 100 creatures trapped inside. Through ages, hunting whales practice extended dangerously. The practice began early 6000 BC and it was believed that this illegal hunting have been started for the first time in Neolithic Korea, according to petroglyphs found along the Tahira River. Hunting whales created a debate because it became commercial industry. Hunters profit from whales flubber that contain oil and it is rich with vitamin D. In addition to that, whales are edible. Therefore, they found whaling useful and valuable. Whales are in danger of extinction due to the huge losses among these mammals. By the end of 1930, the losses reached more than 50,000 whales, and so immediate procedures must be done to protect these creatures from extinction. The International Whaling Commission IWC, was created for that purpose. It aimed in stopping the massive declining in whales numbers and forbid any commercial hunting. The decree of anti-whaling legislation had supporter such as animal activists and different countries, yet there were disobedient like Japan and Iceland that would advantage from legalized whaling. As whaling became forbidden practice, some countries choose whale monitoring practice as an alternative hobby instead of whale hunting in order to reinforce their economics. Actually, that was very gainful and productive as well as it was standing. However, IWC did not bane whaling for the aboriginals because it have an important sense in their cultures, yet this too became debatable in the last period on the internet. Furthermore, not all the countries accepted that they would watch whales instead of hunting them. On August 6, 2018, a member of the indigenous Canadian Inuk community called Albert Netzer posted a picture of his son on his first ever beluga whale hunt. Although for Inuk, this tradition is important at this particular age. The picture caused social media clamor and viewers refused this act. Nestor was attacked aggressively in tweets by the commentators, and so he tried to civilize them about their costume. Nestler told news site CBC on August 10, 2018, there are some pretty harsh things that were mentioned. I'm just happy my son didn't see them. Nestler continued, the commentators do mean well, maybe for the animal, but they just don't know our culture as well. When he spoke about Inuk tradition, he was able to influence some people who changed their viewpoint. Inuk's tradition was not the only debatable story about whaling. Animal lovers, specifically whales, were shocked and dreaded due to a terrifying footage that was captured by a drone camera and was published by New Network RT on November 7, 2018. The footage showed whaling on an entirely different scale. The Wicked View contained a compound housing 10 glass tanks floating on the ocean surface on Russia Pacific Coast in the Nahukta part vicinity. The majority of them were full with animated creatures. To make certain from their fear and have a close look, investigators sent out a helicopter. In the scene, there were crates for a quarter mammals. Journalist and campaigner Masha Netrebenko discussed the discovery with the Daily Mirror on November 6, 2018. He said from the air we saw loads of white beluga whales in enclosures built in the water. That is known as whale jail in media outlets. There were about 90 beluga whales and 11 orcas, also called killer whales. They were alive, but they were restless while swimming uneasily in the small cisterns compared to their sizes. Netrebenko, the journalist, added, the scale of what is happening here is shocking, but the picture I have seen has deeply shaken me. Activists were uncomfortable to the incidents they were certain that was something bad and evil was happening, but they don't know it yet. They were preparing to send the mammals somewhere, and the main idea was that they are planning to selling them to the lucrative sea parks in China. 
Netrebenko revealed that the owners, after additional monitoring, have already prepared themselves for transporting a set. A crane depositing one of the whales on the shore, the journalist said. Apparently, these businessmen are so prepared that they even installed jammers. The disorderlies were well arranged. As it was mentioned in the Daily Mirror, prosecutors are investigating four businesses involved with the whale jail, whom they have an annual license for keeping 13 orcas, which was given to them for educative and conservative purposes. Apparently, hunting beluga was substantially illegal. Journalists haven't named any of them. Additionally, their efforts to penetrate the compound have thus far failed. A photographer by the name of Nina Ziranova tried to disclose the site's illegal activity. However, she was caught by the security and they have sequestered her camera and its memory card. Netrebenko claimed that profitable businesses tied to people particularly close to the Kremlin. Netrebenko concluded, I've seen orcas, white whales, and whales in the ocean many times, and I'm confident that only the ocean can be their home. Not these tiny enclosures where intelligent creatures are stuffed like fish in a tin. I don't know who you need to be to put them here and to allow trading them as soulless pieces of meat.